at first, I really wasn't trying to gangbang, you know, because, you know, my mom, she was like, you know, gangbanging ain't good, and, you know, that's not a life you should live, and this and that, but going to school and being around people and being around everybody, there was kids in there gangbanging, you know what I'm saying, and I was curious. I, I, I ain't gonna say that I, I I was, like, I wanted to gangbang, but I was yeah. curious on that lifestyle, bro, you feel me? And... Um, I ran into somebody I went to school with, and then he was like, I, you know, I didn't, shit, I'm over there, like, my mom really didn't let me out that much, so I was like, man, I, I, I was going to the McDonald's, and I seen somebody I went to school with, I'm like, man, where you going? He was like, I'm going to the park. I'm like, there's a park around here? He like, yeah, that's my boy. Hey, shout out Primo, free Primo, um, and uh, so I ended up going to the park, man, and that's when I met I met all the guys and shit, and then from that point on and shit, you know what I'm saying, we, we kicked it every day that summer. Every day they would be calling me like clockwork, like, hey, come outside, <laughs> come outside. Is James there? Come outside. Like, yeah. You know, and then, you know, these are my buddies. These are my friends, bro. And then and, and, uh, at that time I seen the, like, family, like how the camaraderie in that shit, bro, you feel me? So mm. I liked it that because I didn't have no big family, bro. You feel me? My mom would work. I, you know, our uncle, my uncle stayed there, and it was just like that was it, bro. You feel me? I got my grandma, but on my dad's side, I got a big family. But my mom's side, the family ain't big. So it's just like I seen the camaraderie, I seen the brotherhood, and I was like, man, these, man, these, you know what I'm saying? They, I seen how they was like, you know, everybody was looking out for each other, bro. You feel me? I wasn't yeah. like, you know, I wasn't top notch, best dress. You know what I'm saying? For the sixth grade, but when I came back on that seventh grade, boy, I was, boy, I was flying the 747. They was like, what? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, the homie, hey, because my he boy. I was flying the 747. Oh, God, bro. Rest in peace, Lil Pine, my boy Cedric Collins, bro. They, he, he like, showed me, like, hey, wear it like this. Hey, do it like this. Hey, hang it like this, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more advanced than me, bro, because you know what I'm saying? So I, they was even telling you all that, exactly how to wear your Bro, job. yeah, and uh, mind you, they, we, all, we all 12 and 13, bro, but they just a little bit more advanced than me because I've been, like, you know, my mom kind of kept me sheltered a little bit. You feel yeah. me? So, you know, every Saturday morning, from Saturday every morning, it was just like 10 o'clock, like clockwork. Brrr, hey, come outside, fool. We, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll bail down. Like, choo, 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 choo. like, and he was like, throw these on, throw these J's on, throw these chucks on. You feel me? So, yeah. finally, my dog, you know what I'm saying? He just turned around and was like, bro, we was going to a party. I'll never forget it, man. On on the on the walking off the 500, bro, to the 7, bro. And that nigga was like, beef on the hood, fool. I'm like, man, nah, fool, you know? And he was like, man, come on. Because, like, at my school, it's just all type of people, like, kids. Like, we all bad kids. It's all type of from different gangs and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I really didn't know about that shit or know the difference. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. And he just took off on me. We started fighting. And after that, he was like, you from the hood? I'm like, nah, hell no. Nah, I ain't from the hood, <laughs> He forced it on you. Yeah, he kind of like, he kind of like <laughs> he did. Like, it on you. He was my boy. That was my brother. I, I, and I love that fool. That was my brother. But he kind of like forced it on me. And then I'm like, nah. He's like, I'm going to come to your hood every, I'm going to come to your house every day then. We going to chunk him. I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck where you come to. We going to fight every day. Because I'm like, man, my mama going, she going to be hot, bro. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Hey, that motherfucker was at my house the next day, though. I ain't gonna lie. With his hands up, ready. <laughs> hey, like, what's up? You Let try to use... of his word. Hey, like, <laughs> hey, on a bike, hey, I looked down because my patio, with my, my porch would, would, would face La Cienega to the hood. You feel me? So, yeah. And I hear somebody, hey, James, come out. And I looked outside, like, who the fuck is this? I look outside, I'm like, oh, shit, they really out here. So, boom, I walk down, like, what's up? He like, he like, hey, you from the hood, fool? I'm like, we love you, homie. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. He like, well, throw your shit up then, bro. We get to lock it in front of my building and shit. You feel <laughs> me? And then we be back cool again. Like, won't even it won't even be spoke on the, the fight, bro. We'll just be back like, ah, oh, yeah, la, la. It was kind of like unspoken words. Like, I'm from the set. You feel me? And then, yeah. and then 